As the key circuit racing championships wind down for the year, Speedway is just firing up. It's going to be a big season, particularly for sprint cars, and the Aussie drivers seem better prepared than ever to take on some of the best American races. This is former national sprint car champion Robbie Farr. Over summer, he and his crew will spend countless hours in this impressive race transporter. Modelled on the latest from the American sprint car scene, it's well equipped for the new standard of competition, complete with shock dyno, backup car and a perfectly placed spare parts inventory. You know, with our race schedule now, it's you know we're sort of racing seven or eight months a year and um, all over the country we sort of we backtrack three or four times across the country. So, you know, this is our workshop. Um, you know, so you know, if you're going to live in it, you know, day to day, you might as well um, might as well make it nice. Far has obtained some blue chip support for his campaign, a three-year deal with the right security to match his steely determination. The National Series takes in every major capital city and many of the leading provincial circuits. Sanctioned by World Series sprint cars, the teams are on the road for 14 rounds between early November and mid-January. The defending champion is one of Australia's leading speedway identities and he's celebrating a special milestone this season. It's going to be a good one. It's our 25th year of racing sprint cars and um, we've got seven series wins now and it'd be nice to try and win eight. So we'll give it a good shot. The boys will build a nice car and we're ready to go. After an absence of seven years, the series returns to Parramatta City Raceway this season with a round in early December. Winning at home would be a fairy tale for Max in his 25th year, but he knows this assault will be one of the hardest, particularly with the return of some young Aussie racers who've been competing full-time stateside. I guess it'll be fairly tough. There's a lot of other guys out there trying pretty hard, and um, Brooks, Brooks going to be very tough, and uh, all tens, it's all a different issue. Um, I don't know, it's, it's not going to be easy, but we'll certainly give it a shot. In addition to the National Series, Australian fans are eagerly awaiting the return of America's finest races. Names like the legendary Steve Kinser and Donnie Schotts, the man who currently has the Midas touch. Winner of the famed Knoxville Nationals and more than 70 feature events in the US. They'll head to Australia for Outlaws Down Under 5 in mid-January. The waiting party will be friendly, but ready for a rematch unlike any bout before. They're the benchmark in a lot of ways because that's... That's what they do for a living and um, you know, I think the gap over the last two or three years is really closed and uh, you know, you can go to a, an international meeting now and an Australian's as good a chance of winning as any American. It takes a special breed of racer to tame these cars and the good operators can really hustle them. Now equipped with a 410 cubic inch V8 and boasting a power to weight ratio better than Formula One, when they're in a cauldron together it is magic to watch and this summer promises to be one of the best yet. And after a season in the US, Brooke Tatnell and Kerry Madsen will be match fit for their homecoming. This is RPM. We'll be back in a moment.